So it was just a few years because, you know, we're slow with it. Uh, we were just kind of like redoing the, the restaurant. We were rebuilding a bar. So then at the same time, you know, it's like, oh, let's build a Micha Mobil just to kind of help promote this thing. Yeah. And uh, how'd you do that? What'd you buy? You bought a food truck? Yeah, talk Man. to us about that. I, I looked that up <laughs> ahead of time and I'm just fascinated by it. So the Micha Mobil, okay. So I think, I forgot, I forgot what year it was. It was one of the last, or not, not one of the last. It was a LA Street Food Fest. I don't know if you're familiar with that event. But we, we participated very often. Yeah. And one year we were there and there was a point where it, you know, there's so many food events. So at a certain point we we're like, all right, we'll do it. But we'll just take the michelada because it's easier. It's just a beer in the mix. And yep. it's very integral to the restaurant. So it's still it's still very much Galagetza going. Yeah. So I was there hanging out with the michelada. My friend from uh, LA Taco shows up and he's like, oh, dude, this michelada is really dope. Like you should do something cool with it. I was like, oh, yeah. And we we're just talking, bullshitting and like out of nowhere. We just kind of uh, were like, yeah, we're, we're, I'm just going to buy like a VW bus and do like a like a Michelada truck. Okay. And it'll have like a DJ booth and we'll like have beer taps. And we're just kind of like spitballing and like, you know, just like talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it was like, oh, that's like a pretty cool idea. Maybe I should. So then I started looking on Craigslist and all these things, VW buses. Mm -hmm. And originally I wanted the one with the V, like the quintessential but those classic. things are expensive. Yeah, they are. They're super classics. expensive. So then I, I landed on this one. It was on sale down the street from the restaurant for like $6,000. So I was like, damn, that's a lot of money. So I got $6,000 in my pockets, but I put like $3,000 in one pocket <laughs> and like $1,000 in the other. And one. I, I, like, I spread it out, right? Right. You're like, this is all I got. Yeah. yeah. So I show up <laughs> and I'm like, hey, man, I'll give you $3,000. He was like, no. You know, I'm like. I plan to give this truck to my kids. Oh, there you go. It's Taking cool. them with the emotional yeah. story. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, but you have it on Chrysler's for sale. I don't know. Right, right, right. So I don't really believe you. So he's like, you know, I'll, I'll do it for <laughs> 6000 I was like, you know. So I took out the 3000 in the first pocket. Yeah. And I was like, look, this is this all is I like brought. It's like a TV show. Yeah. 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 And I was like, look, this is all I brought. I got 3000 right here, cash. Yeah. Just like, take it, dude. And, you know, when people see it, it's different. They get excited. Yeah. So it was like, yeah. ah, he was like, ah. He's like, all right, four. I was like, all right. So I took out the other pocket <laughs> and then he laughed. But you know, and then we made the deal. I got the truck. So you got it for 4,000. 4,000. And how much, how much was it to renovate it? To oh man, it arm and a leg, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, I mean, the truck was the, the cheapest cost? part. Yeah. yeah. The okay. truck was the cheapest part. Did it run? No. Oh uh, yeah, it ran. It ran. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ran, but like, you sound know, like it walked a little bit. Like, right. <laughs> you pushed it home. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was like manual. I can't drive manual. So I had to oh. have someone come over and help me drive it home. <laughs> Did you know that before? Yeah. Okay. But you know, it was just, they didn't make any, any, not in that day, any no. automatic. I really love that. The automatic. Can you drive automatic? Uh, manual? Yeah. Manual. Yeah. You yeah. drive manual? Can you drive manual? Yeah. I got to learn, dude. So how long? From the moment you bought it, how long until it was operational and you could bring it to? The Mitchell Mobile took it took like a, like a probably eight months, which is crazy a crazy timeline. But I was literally at the shop every day pushing the dude like anything. He would be like, "Oh, I don't know about this," and like, "Okay, let me just find a solution." Just like pushing and pushing it like eight <laughs> months. Uh, he, that guy was like annoyed with me. That's not a bad turnaround because I know a lot of yeah. people who have project cars that just sit. I have a I yeah. have a sixty six Mustang that I've been restoring for three years. Yeah. So, See, there you go. Yeah. But it probably helped it, that this was like for your business as opposed yeah. to for yeah, pleasure. Yeah. Is it manual? No, it's uh, automatic. I was gonna say that's so badass. <laughs> That'd be such a good story. No, no. That's eh. a cool car, man. It's a dope car. It was my first. It was my first car. It was my first car. So then I'm just restoring it. That's now. awesome. Yeah. That's way that's better so, than ninety nine percent of people's first cars. <laughs> well, it, it was it was a sixty six Mustang, but it was like a piece of shit sixty six Mustang. Hey man, you know it was like Still. when we got it. I think we got it for like two thousand two thousand dollars. Yeah, and it was mind. like baby blue. So like my dad <gasps> took it to TJ what? to get painted black. Baby blue must now looking back, I should have kept it. Yeah, yeah that's, it. that's a classic it. look. Yeah. Should have kept it. It's like, what but it wasn't, it wasn't the original color. The original color is like a like a gold, like a weird California gold. I think it's called. But it's weird. Like I don't a like yellow, it. like a mustard. Yeah, like a mustard. Weird. But I'm gonna the restoring color is like an olive green. Yeah, and I, I love I'm, that green. I'm doing it. Uh, it's a two plus two, but I'm changing it to a fastback. So once you're not doing the original, I'm already right. Yeah, might yeah. as well. As long as you're not putting like flames on the hood, <laughs> I think that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you finished the Michi Mobile. Finished the Michi Mobile. First event we did was the LA Street Food Fest, where I had the idea the, the year before. 
And what did you do inside of the car? Is, it, is there space for people to walk so around? So in, inside the car, so the, the we got it the interior. Yeah. On the side, on the driver's side, along the side of the car is a jockey box. Where the, and the, it's four taps, and those taps lead to the side of the car. So okay. on this outside of the driver's side, there's a door that you can open. Yeah. It's got four beer taps. I didn't know. I mean, when I got it, I didn't know anything about the car. <laughs> right. right. Like I just chose it because I chose it because I, in my memory, it's very Mexican. Because like in we used to get picked up to school when we lived in Mexico in like combi. Yeah. And like in DFA, it's like a working person's transportation. There's yeah. peseras. It's like a taxi. It's like communal transportation. It's like Uber before Uber. Sure. So then, um, that's on, so funny to think about. Yeah, it's, it's the same in Peru. Everything's always everything's the same. There's no new ideas. Yeah. So no, that's so interesting. The back on top of the engine is raised. So then on top of that is a DJ booth. So the DJ when he's playing is looking towards the engine towards the back. Yeah. But to fit the DJ, we had to cut the roof, and it hinges open like a book. And on the inside of the of the of the roof, once it's open, there's a TV, and two speakers swing out. So it's it's like a DJ booth slash beer tap. That's so dope. And like a TV, refrigerator. No, no refrigeration. The All only right. electricity is just for the electric uh, for the DJ booth. So but it's a jockey box. It's a glorified jockey box on wheels. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. So then we did the LA Street Food Fest, and then you know ever since we've done like a bunch of cool events. Were you there. a hit? Were people like what? Yeah, you know, I think in my mind it would have been bigger, but so that was my question: goes. was that if you noticed a huge swing in people visiting your booth or whatever at these so be, but because of the truck the next day i got a dm on instagram from uh, circus liquor and they're like hey we want to carry you guys and ramirez and those were our two first accounts because before that we were just, it was just at the restaurant 